Hello. When you think of a contract, what comes to mind? Well, in Tim Cummings' chapter of the Gower Handbook, he offers some refreshing insights in how we should look at contracts. He recognises that business is changing. We can't define the inputs, processes and outputs, look at the deliverables in a way that we used to be able to. There may be many unknown unknowns. It's not possible to define these at the outset of the programme or project, and so the contract has to change, and it needs to manage that change in a structured way. The programme or project may last some years. People come and go, so our stakeholders are different. We may also get new technologies coming in that we didn't know about at the time of the writing of the contract. So how do we deal with this? Well, Tim's chapter has 10 pitfalls that he'd identified as common ways that people fail and he offers constructive suggestions as to how to overcome these. So I do recommend you read the chapter and consider how you turn the contract from that thing that was put in the drawer previously at initiation, only brought out when there were legal issues, to an active working document, one that's referred to throughout the duration of the programme and project, and on closure to be able to say that it was a good document that helps deliver a successful piece of work.